mid-January, it's our third day back in Ohio. It's our second run with Seraphim Ranch and Real McCoy Outfitters. And we've had a couple of real close encounters with, with some decent bucks. Got a lot of does coming into these food plots. But what we're seeing is, is they're coming in late, right before dark. And a lot of times they're coming in after camera light, which is was no good when you're making a TV show. But the biggest thing is they're catching us in these trees. And we've tried a lot of different sets. Today we've gotten out of the climbers and we've gone to lock-ons and we put them into a big gnarly tree. We've got a lot of breakup for my cameraman and I. Pull back off the field. It's going to be a longer shot, but the chances of getting a, a, an opportunity I think are better if we stay off the field. We just got to hope a big one comes in before dark. I only got two weeks left in Ohio bow season. Got to get done. What I'm going to be set up on, I want you to see, is it's a late season food plot and it's still really green. The snow is starting to melt off a little bit, but there's a lot of this late season vegetation out here. They planted it probably in September, maybe even early October, and it came in really lush and green. And they're hitting this field. But we've had a couple of different sets in these various food plots down here. But right now we've got that northwest wind, we've got the front coming through, and I think we're going to be good with this set. I like it. kind of tight quarters in here. I, I mean, I love this setup. I mean, we're a little further from the field than I'd like to be, but this box elder tree, I mean, it gives me a ton of breakup. I mean, there's branches around. There's room enough here for me and my cameraman to be concealed. And uh, I think that uh, it's gonna give us a lot better chance to try and catch one coming to the field possibly. But the, the biggest thing this time of the year, just like any, any other time, is the wind and this northwest wind. It's pushing this way. The bedding area is out here. So we're hoping to get those deer come filtering in this way. I mean, it's as good a setup as you can have. And right now we got a front coming in. It's supposed to rain, then snow and get cold. I'm talking real cold and they got to eat. They got to eat.
Bingo! I think I hammered him. <laughs> <laughs>